months. We're getting at the boot phase. Currently on our way to Hidden Place. And we're going to check out Honeydale after as well, because we can get there just as it's opening. Yeah, so there we've Desperate Dan. <laughs> Pulling in. Was it a beard? Was it a beard? And uh, hopefully, you'll buy some pizza there as well. Hey! hey. How much in the games here? It depends which one you want. One at the top is quite expensive. The rest of them is 10 and 15, between 10 and 15 quid. Oh, okay. Now I'm what? Two yeah. quid. Checks all there. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I checked most of them ones. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's all there. Thank you. Lovely. Cheers. Hey. Oh, how are we doing? Thank you very much. Yeah. You all right, yeah. I I I forget to draw. I mean, I I check your video. Yeah. So the shower, yeah. 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 Sweet. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. yeah. I'm good, man. Ready for a hunt. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh dear, mate. Don't rush around because you're desperate for stuff and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, yes, brother. Yes, brother. Oh, yes, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, brother. You got any cuts? Not really, no. We only just got it like 10 minutes ago. No? Yeah, we just got it just now. Yeah. How much is it? Size eight, gentlemen. How much in the games here, mate? Uh, pound, mate, each. Go in the box. Ice cream box. You have to try in the box. How much for the weed down there as well? Yeah, I only need cash. There you go, mate. No, it's good. Sorry, my friend. Right behind you. Sorry. That's all right. Cheers, mate. How much is your wee? Uh, the wee? Maybe you need five. Done. Sorry, I've got everybody everywhere at the moment. Yeah. Uh, three quid. Oh, Six, two. Oh. 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 O
That's what we put a micro machine thing there. Try. How you doing? Yeah, good. Got anything new today? I haven't made it, no. Mm. To be honest, I made a mistake. I've come out, I've got half ready yesterday. Yeah. And then went to a barbecue and that. Like, <laughs> this morning, forgot the stuff in that room. <laughs> All the good stuff's in that room. Oh. Oh. Right, just a ride at Honeydale, and we just saw a llama. So we're gonna go see it. Llama? Don't be a llama. <laughs> <laughs> He's full of puns today. Don't be a llama. Right, let's go see this llama. There he is. <laughs> well, pedum isn't. I don't think it's a farm. Pedum is just pedum. Sorry. I don't know, man. It's basically a league fest, isn't it? Oh, right. Uh, how much are your pads, mate? They, they need restoring, mate. You need restoring? Yeah. And I like just sometimes yeah. they go off, yeah. don't they? Like how much are they? Two quid each. Two quid each? All for a fiver? Yeah? yeah. Sitting under my stairs, everything's got to go. I'm not taking nothing home. No mm. worries, mate. Thank you. I'll come back later, all right? How much do you want for the script? It needs the. Uh, Screen, he's, what he done was, okay. he hasn't cracked the screen, so yeah. you can hear if it's oh, no. but he's whacked it oh, on his wow. leg, oh, and no. you can't see that nothing. That means he's going to get my phone like out. Fiver. Yeah. Well, which one? No. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> which one? Thank you. He's going to get the phone like out. From McConnell. Yeah, me too. Hey Jason, you alright? Yeah, got a nice, uh, just picked up a wee bundle for Fox Wee, bit more than 6 plus, 7 quid. I got a wee earlier, two games, 7 quid? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, How to DJ properly? Yeah, I can't, so. <laughs> oh shit, there's a thing in it. One of these things. Mixer. I know Carl's Jack was always after one of those. I bought it for a quid not long ago. And it had its uh, cover on it as well. I used to like that ring. What was that you ring there? I think it is. Yo. Are you right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. I thought you were bloody had a walking stick then. No, I, I stepped on a nail, innit? They're five. Nice. Toe, man. I've been there. Five or four of them. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, look, I might look painted. I mean, yeah, That's they're cool, sick. man. Yeah. Where, where's that from here? <laughs> yeah, we yeah, straight from the toe mails, didn't we? Yeah. We did a job at someone's garden yesterday. Yeah, not a lot, really. Sealed FIFA, 20 pounds. It's not too bad. It's only worth about five or six quid though, even yeah. sealed. No. Is this the last row? Oh, is there another bit of row over there? That we haven't done something, something extra because I thought they might do. Um, yeah. John. Yeah. In the end, go John. In the end, I resold it and and um, made a, um, got thirty pound back for it from CEX. And then I kept the um, was the bloke Adam and he's got. Ooh. How much? Five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Tempting. Yeah, no, it's the uh, Zen ones, they always sell so well. So, what, what am I taking for? Five. Two out of the box and two off the table. Two, four, yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to do any such ones. Are you doing those two for five, John? Yeah. Yeah? Good lad. And we're back. So, just got back from the boot fairs, and um, yeah, today was, it was good. Like, it was alright today. Like, it was nice weather out. Um, Went to Pedham first, found some nice bits and bobs there, uh, and yeah, then went to Honeydale, and I've got to mention this. So I bumped into Scott's Comics and Collectibles a couple of times. Good to see you again, man. Um, I actually pre-arranged to see him this time because I was gonna, I was selling him um, Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube because he said he had the box and the manual and he wanted to complete it. So I did him a good deal on that. So did see him for that reason, and then I saw him again at the second boot fair. And oh, he beat me by seconds to a really cool item. I'm not going to tell you what that item is, 
because I believe I will probably put out this video just before him, so I don't want to spoil his pickups. So, um, but I did get some other things off those same sellers. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as good as what Scott got. So, um, I'll link uh, his video in the description when he puts it out. And um, yeah, you can see what he got because it's way better than what I managed to get off him. But what I got off them is still not bad. So, I'm gonna go through my pickups now. I've uh, got a nice little uh, mixture of things today. So, let's start with what I've got first. So, which is Manga Essentials DVD collection, which was £1.50, as you can see on the side there. It has Akira, Ghost in the Shell, and Ninja Scroll on DVD. All three awesome classic mangas that you know they're all complete they're all in there check them and yeah they're all I've, I've seen all of them at some stage in my life some of them quite a while ago some of them a bit more recently all fantastic all really good examples of japanese manga in the 80s and early 90s so i can't um i can't recommend this highly enough this uh these set of three films if you want to get into manga it's a good place to start. Uh, then we've got a uh, Jeff Hardy WWE figurine. Um, I actually bought some figurines off the same seller last week. I got this um, Honky Tonk Man off them as well. They're some really cool stuff. They had a Braun Strowman that I nearly bought as well, but I was like, you know what? I've got I bought enough wrestling figures off these guys, so like I'm gonna um, I'll just get the Jeff Hardy. Kind of wish I did get Braun Strowman now because he did just get released from WWE, so that actually might go up a little bit higher, but. You know, Jeff Hardy, innit? Like, so many people, so many generations have now grown up with Jeff Hardy as a, as a wrestler, you know, even the kind of current generation of, like, younger fans. And, you know, I grew up watching Jeff Hardy, you know, as, as early as, like, you know, 98, 99. So, um, it's really cool to, to have this. And, um, yeah, it was only £4.50. So, that was cool. Uh, from the same seller, um, it, I've got Legends of Batman, uh, Joker, uh, figurine. Uh, it comes with, uh, he's got the, the pistol that has the bang flag at the end and he's got one of his like weird construction um, weapons that he uses against Batman. And um, yeah, it's cool. I mean, like it's a little bit, a tiny little bit like scuffed at the size, but £4.50 is quite a unique looking figurine as well. Like I'm quite happy with that. It comes with a card as well. It's cool. I like that. Uh, so let's go on to what I got off um, this this uh, family, uh, where Scott also bought something really cool. But again, I'm going to tell, tell you what he got. Uh, so I got off them three broken PlayStation Four controllers for a fiver. Now that's pretty good, even though they're broken. Even though, like, <laughs> okay, we'll, be, we'll, we'll start diagnosing the problems with camera. So this one is not got its L1 button, and it doesn't charge, doesn't take the charge. Rattles like hell. Probably shouldn't have done that as hard as I just did it. Um, but yeah, that's one of them. Then this one, which has um, My Little Pony stickers all over it, is actually the probably the one that looks the most battered. And it's the one that actually works. This actually connects to the PlayStation and works. Like the D-pad works, the buttons work, uh, but these don't work. And yeah, so, and then this red one, which probably actually looks like it's in the cosmetically best condition. Again, it doesn't charge, doesn't take, um, I mean, the serial numbers are still on there. Uh, and so like, they, it just looks like they've been, got really angry at something and they just thrown it against the wall. Cause they're not in actual, like they're not dusty or dirty. They're just broken. So if anyone knows how to fix these pads, if anyone's you know, got any experience fixing these pads, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can sort something out. Maybe we can like, I don't know if you fix them all up, you can keep one. I don't know, like we'll, we'll, we'll you know, work something out because I need to get these fixed and I'm rubbish at things like this. So if you, if you know anything uh, about fixing these, let me know in the comments. Um, so next, got a PlayStation 2 game, X3, it's a pound, no. 50p, 50p, it's complete. Not played this game, Cell Shady Graphics. Uh, Dan was telling me um, this is quite a good game, quite a good example of uh, Cell Shady Graphics in the game. So quite looking forward to getting stuck into, into this one. And then we've got um, Zelda Twilight Princess on the Wii. This was four pounds, complete. 
Uh, I know this isn't worth that much in terms of like the Zelda uh, mainline series. I don't know why. Like, um, like I've played this and I liked it. I liked it. You know, it looks good, plays well. I don't know why it's not worth that much. Maybe they overprinted it and it didn't sell as much as they thought they would. I don't know, but it's complete and it's in nice condition as well. So I'm happy with that. Uh, then we've got uh, Hitman uh, Absolution. Hitman Absolution on PS3. This is a pound. Again, it's complete. Don't know too much about it, but the Hitman games, uh, I've heard they're quite good. So that's not too bad. And then we have this, which is a Wii. I have not opened it yet. I haven't tested it. I don't know, but it has. See, yep, it has the four GameCube controller inserts, and then we have. Uh, it's came with a dock as well. Got the Wii remotes. Another one. I've uh, got two games of it as well. Got Super Monkey Ball Blitz, uh, which is not complete. It only has a disc of it. And we have uh, what is that called? Bo Boom blocks. Boom blocks, yeah, boom blocks for the Wii. Again, that was a pound. Uh, all that together, basically, the Wii set. It came with the, it didn't come with any Wii remotes, unfortunately, which is a pain. But it came with its sensor bar, it came with the power adapter, it came with the official cable. So, not too bad. So, that is it for the pickups today. And um, all that pretty much cost me £30. So, not a bad day in terms of. Cool. Um, obviously I could have done a little bit better make sure you watch Scott's comics and collectibles video and see what he got from the seller that I got the pads from because it just blows mine out of the water and so so I wish I saw it first but you know that's the way that's the way it goes isn't it you know what I mean I'm I'm happy with that let's have what happens at boot fairs you know the amount of cool stuff that I've got that other people have missed out on is crazy so it's all good man so you know it's, it's it's how it goes so like yeah well done Scott I'm getting that and um yeah Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, uh, subscribe, consider subscribing below and I will see you in the next one.